Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here, and in this quick video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you uh, take a video in Final Cut and you knock out uh, text. And so what I mean by knock out means is where basically you have your text shown with an image behind it or a, a video behind it playing while your text is basically creating the outline of the image. It'll make more sense when we get started here. There's a couple ways of doing this, a couple quick ways of doing this, and the first one's very easy and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But I'm gonna show you how to do a manual way to where you have pretty much unlimited freedom with however you wanna do this knockout effect in Final Cut Pro. So let's go and hop into it here. So the first thing we're gonna do is the easy way here. And uh, what we need to do is basically go to our, um, our, our, our generators, our titles and generators here, and go into build in slash out and this knockout effect here is built into Final Cut by by default so every Final Cut user should have this and basically all you're gonna do is just drag this over top of your clip I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down to fit the clip and uh, you can see that it basically just starts to knock out the text right away we have this uh, title here that we can change the name of but you can see the effect that it does give it has a little fly-in effect and there we go. So what we're going to do is actually change this. I'm going to, uh, the, the image that we're ha we have here is from the San Francisco Bridge. So I'm going to do San Francisco, um, just like that. And I'll just kind of stylize it a little bit, make the uh, sand part really big. And uh, obviously this is something that you don't have to do. But for this one, I'm, I'm kind of just showing you. Um, that we can play with the text. Uh, you, you have a lot of a lot of room to play with the text here, so you can really go uh, kind of crazy with however you want to do this. So I'm just going to shrink this up here, and uh, there we go. Let's just call it a day. So that that looks good there. So now what we can do here is kind of play our effect, and just like that, San Francisco, and it plays out and knocks it out. Very cool, very easy to do. So what if you wanted to do this effect if you didn't want to apply a title generator? You can really do the same thing with a blending mode. So we're gonna do the same thing, but for this one we're gonna go ahead and start off with a text layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the shortcut uh, command for a text layer, and that's a control T, and that'll give us a basic text layer. I'm going to go ahead and trim that down as well, just right there. And we'll go to the beginning here, and we have the same thing here. We have our title, and we're gonna do the same thing, San Francisco. And we're gonna enlarge this just like that. Let's go ahead and change our font here. And we'll shrink this one up. We're basically just kind of mimicking what we did with the title, uh, just like that. And we'll play with the spacing here and make sure that looks good. There we go. And uh, now we'll just kind of uh, enlarge this this thing here. So we'll go ahead and do a transform just real quick. Scale this back to 50% so we can see all of the boundary markers just like that. And there you go, center that. And now we'll go back to fit here. And okay, so that we got our, our, our text the way we want it to be. Now we need to apply a blending mode. So we're gonna go over here to our blending modes in our um, video inspector. We're gonna go to blending mode and we're gonna go to stencil alpha. When we click that, it basically knocks out everything except for what's inside uh, the, the text layers, the, uh, the font layers. Now the uh, drawback to this is that you really can't have that cool flying effect, but the upside is that you don't have to start over if you decide that you want to do a knockout effect. Uh, basically what you can do is just change the blending mode and you've instantly done it. So you don't have to redo uh, applying a title or generator. So uh, those are two different ways, two easy ways of doing a knockout effect with your text in Final Cut Pro. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by this video. If you want to learn more about Final Cut or about any sort of cinematic LUTs, color grading, anything like that, go to LUTSLounge.com and you'll find a whole lot of information there. And please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.